Uh, hey, next. I mean, hey, YouTube. This is Miles from Nexus Core again. Um, so yesterday was Grand Fest, or and you know, um, day before that was Grand Fest Vanguard. I forgot what place I got, but that really doesn't matter in such an RNG card game. Um, anyway, he what, didn't make day two. What matters is that I played Buddy Fight and made it further in that, and that's a superior card game that you should all play. Anyway. Um, Shout out to our buddy uh, Axel who took first place. Actually, it's Joshua Lee. Serrata. <laughs> he lets us call him Axel. Um, yeah, no, we made friends with some pretty cool people, and one of them ended up winning. So uh, shout out to you guys. You were a fan of the channel as well, uh, and thanks for the tips on Gear Chronicle to help me get better. Um, anyway, uh, this is my um, Grand Fest Gear Chronicle deck profile. Not much different from the one that was uploaded like earlier last week or whatever. Um, uh, okay, anyway, so, Starger, Chronodron, we all know what that does. You can do time leap plays with it and get a grade 3 to, inf to ensure that you can stride next turn. I thought we all knew what it was. Tick away, meta plays. Uh, for Heart th oh, Tick Tock Worker, my bad, for meta plays. Heart Thump, because, you know, skills. Zodiac Time Beast crit. Urwitar for meta plays. Vainglory Dream, Vainglory Gear Dream Cat for Vainglory Dream Gear Cat for more plays. Reading is hard. New card. Um. Uh. What's her name? Time etching maiden Uluru. This one is uh when she's um discard. Did you just spit on me? No, I just breathe. Oh, okay. I was trying to read what her name was. Got it. Um. I this card is uh when she's discarded for the um you know to G guard with the new G guardian, which is uh. Time Maiden of Eternity Uluru, you can choose a unit in your drop zone and kick it back to the deck. Bottom. Um, so, yeah, uh, pretty good. Um, you know, she helps fuel back the deck and ensure that you won't deck out. And three Lucky Pot Draco Kid. Um, you know, Shovin' to Soul give you unit 3k. Again, you guys have pretty much seen the majority of this deck, we just want more content. Talk about it slowly, get to the minutes. For Steam Maiden Melum for the meta plays. Fun fact: Melum is Melum backwards. Wow, I had no idea how to read. Love One tick away to shuffle cards back to the deck. One Meshkia um, for draw power. Once uh, Lishma for time leap plays. Three Stride Fodder. And for Arlim, shout out, to, shout out to Richard for getting these for me. You're welcome. No, you're not a real person. No, I'm Richard. No, you're Gabe. How dare you? Wait, Atlas. no, you're depressed. Okay, um, Atlas. Four History Maker Dragons for more time leaping. Two History, uh, I mean, um, Delayed Blazer Dragon for more time leaping. Is this the exact same deck as last time? You got it, kiddo! There are three new cards in here. Three Calibum for sending cards back to the deck and screwing over your opponent's field. And two Upstreet, which is a shit card. Um, I'm actually probably gonna do a different deck profile on this deck with like some more plays and such. Granted, I have permission from my friend because it is effectively net decking him. Um, You're welcome. Not you. Main card, Chronojet Dragon G, four of. And three Chronojet Dragons. G units. We got, oh, there he is. The new GB8 card. Um, Interdimensional Dragon, Beyond Order Dragon. This unit's skill is funny. So it's GB8, once per turn, act, counter plus one, soul plus one, and bind the top eight cards from your deck. Uh, this unit, um, after this unit, uh, what is this again? After the original battle phase of this turn, you will perform an additional main phase and battle phase. So you do not stand and draw. It's just like, okay, so I'll start my battle phase. My battle phase ends. Cool. Um, I get another main phase. So I can call new things and then attack with them again. And then this unit gains red text ability. Um, at the original, uh, at the at, oh, at the beginning of your main phase, stand this unit with a drive check minus one. So it's a restander. It's it's effectively a mixture of like a restander and mystery, um, my, uh, mystery flare dragon. Um, funny card. Could never could could never pull it off. You need to make sure you have like more than fifteen cards in your deck, pretty much. Uh, two gear groovy. Um, three next stage, one Metallica Phoenix, one Huang Long, 
uh, good if you get, you know, your bind zone kind of screwed up. Uh, two, um, warp drive dragon. This can actually make some pretty good plays that I wasn't really aware of because I just wasn't using it properly. One sea breeze because meta. Then the new G guard. Um, time maiden of eternity Uluru. So when you guard with it, GB one counter bus one. Flip a G guardian face up from your G zone. This unit gains five k shield for every face up G unit in your G zone. So pretty easy to make some high power creeped attacks. No pass. Two Uluru, um, Retroactive Time Maiden, one Header Around for that Vainglory Dream Gear Cat scale, and one Rafana to get out zeros. So, this one combo that I thought was pretty cool that was pointed out to me was this. Let me just set that shit up real quick. Um, we'll make sure you have a soul. And Richard, can I show them a combo so that I can make it go by fast? I mean, so I can. Got you, BB. Was fast exactly. So we're just gonna shit out more content. And there we go. Uh, one more card, and we'll get a seven mm, K. Okay, cool. So um, this is like when you stride, and it's with all these cards. Uh, okay. So basically, I hope people are still watching this video. So um, your field is gonna be something like this. Uh, just Chrono Jet G with Chrono Tron. And anyway, what you would do is, um, you need to stride a gear dragon, and ideally it should be a uh, warp drive. So you're gonna stride warp drive, use Chrono Dragon G's skill to call a unit from hand, which doesn't really matter, do whatever you want. Um, and, uh, yo, yeah, yo, no, you kinda need a Melum in hand. So you would call Melum, and then you would time leap Chrono Dran to get out another Melum, and a Chrono Jet Dragon. Um, okay, so then, uh, maybe like, get out, I'm pretty sure, oh no, you would wanna, oops, you wanna put that here actually for the combo. So it's uh, attack for 11, turn it into a tick away. Then you would attack with the other Melon, use that bullshit exploit to get out your Uruatar. And, oh right, there does need to be a, a 7K here, just to make sure you have columns. Um, and get out a uh, History Maker Dragon. Um, oh, also, no, you, sorry, you don't need another Melum Hand, you don't need any Melum Hand. If you have, like, a trigger or something, you can call it and then use History Maker's, I mean, Warp Drive's ability to time leap it, uh, into your other Melum. So, you really just need to make sure you still have Chrono Dran. That's, that's about it. And a grade zero in hand. Um, okay, so, uh, attack, skill, time leap, get your plus off, and then you would go into not Melum. Instead, you go into Lishma, and then you do that. Um, attack through Vanguard, use Lishma's ability to time leap her into a... I don't think I grabbed it in deck. Um, sorry, this is a mess. Uh, where are you? There we go, Delayed Blazer, and then Delayed Blazer's skill, you can just time leap into a new grade 3. So you get... Um, one Melum attack, then the second Melum attack, then History Maker, um, your Vanguard, Delayed Blazer, and then your other Grade 3. So that's a six attack combo that requires you to stride, have a Grade 0 or a Melum in hand, and that's, that's about it. And then you get to, you bounce this back to hand and ensure that you can stride next turn, and then all of this would go away, and you would ensure that you have a... Melum still on the f no uh board just it's clean like that's it so um yeah good for the aggressive combo um shout out to Axel who showed me that combo it's it's, it's going good I enjoy it like it actually made Gear Chronicle kind of more enjoyable to play after learning these combos um so thanks for that man and uh congrats on your victory um I can now say with pride that I know a champion that I know two champions in fact. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the deck. Leave a like, comment, suggestions, or, um, tell me why I'm wrong, I guess, because apparently a lot of people like doing that. Uh, um, that's about it, yeah. Uh, this is Miles, signing off.